Okay, great. So, uh, hello everyone. So this is uh, the last tutorial for today, I think. Uh, uh, so, so this tutorial now is about building a chatbot um, backends with uh, Langchain. So basically, we're going to be talking about Langchain. Earlier in the morning, we uh, we discussed like uh, prompt engineering, but we were using kind of um, open AI and the open AI Python um, library directly in like, uh, maybe I showed you a little bit how like to use um, in a, uh, like how to write the prompt for the um, open AI chat models. Um, if you remember, there was these three messages, uh, messages with three roles, system, user, and um, an assistant. Um, so we discussed that a little bit. So now we're going to be using a different library, like a long chain. And it's like you can see that it's going to be easier, especially if you, um, like uh, there is this, like there have very good, very nice, um, 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 uh, tools and 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 options basically in this in this library. So just um, to start, um, uh, it's the basic definition of just chatbots. So chatbots is an application uh, like a chatbot that uses LLM. It's an application of LLM that is uh, uh, characterized by two things. It's uh, uh, like has a, a state, a state, uh, a state for conversation, meaning it has a memory. Uh, like it, like you query the LLM, it gives you an answer, but you can continue as, asking it, and it remembers the conversation. So you can ask follow up questions to what you, what you asked, which is not a given with an LLM. I, as you remember, we talked about this earlier. The other thing is that um, our chatbots can also be provided by relevant information. You can provide them uh, with um, like uh, a data, a data set, or um, like some supporting data set or database where it can get um, the relevant information from there. So this last part is an optional thing with chatbots. So chatbots are just defined by being having a, being able to have a conversation and remembering it. But if it's augmented with retrieval, as it's called, with uh, relevant information, these are called retrieval augmented generation. In this case, it's a rag, and uh, we'll go. No, we're not going to get into this now. We're going to discuss this later on uh, in the week. Um, so, but this is just general idea. So it basically beside the prompt. Uh, so just to look at um, a graph of a, of a, of thought. I uh, think that is your LLM. Usually, well, how you like um, if you cover the like the, the second this um, left part of the screen, an LLM. How you usually interact with with it is that you give it a prompt. And it gives you an answer. That's it. But to have a chatbot, it needs a memory. So this part. So uh, you get a prompt here. So this is a question, like getting here, uh, it, like get registered. Then it gets into the prompt. So um, when you get the answer, it gets registered again in the memory. And the new question that comes gets into like gets into the prompt with the memory. So the LLM will get the whole memory not just um, uh, not just a new question so and w whenever it answers it, it gets again into the memory so basically this is like the basic chatbot uh, if you add the rag or the retrieval uh, you will have to add a storage here and how you deal with this is that like in general is like how it works is that the, the, uh, the question the query that is coming from the user gets first to the storage Basically, this is a, like a vector database, and the vector database from the data, uh, you retrieve only relevant information. So the data can be like a, a huge uh, amount of data, but then by like um, some uh, by imagining semantic similarities, uh, basically, 
uh, between the question and, uh, and the story, you get like the relevant part of this data that is relevant to the to the question, and it the this retrieved information together with the question are passed together in the prompt to the LLM. And then you get an answer that is informed with data from this story. So as I said, this part is optional. Uh, for now, we're going to discuss the story here. This is what is called a vector database later on. Um, but yeah, the main part is that this uh, this database has to be such that like you can actually um, get the information that is relevant to the question. So basically, it has to have some kind of language understanding, uh, in a sense. Okay. So this is the main uh, point. Any questions so far? Yes, about this. You can ask any other any point. So, um, like you can stop me at any point if you um, if you have a question, as you all know. So yes, so moving on to what is uh, Langkain. So Langkain is a framework uh, and uh, like a set of tools. Uh, that uh, are useful for developing applications with LLMs. Um, so uh, it it provides it's, it's one of uh, like several frameworks that can do this. Um, uh, but okay, so uh, Langchain um, have a, this standard interface to interact with with LLMs. So as you say, like earlier, we were talking about OpenAI and OpenAI models. So OpenAI has several models, right? Uh, but it has like this library, OpenAI, where you can basically interact with any of the OpenAI models in the same way, basically. Um, I mean, uh, bar some relative a small uh, difference between like uh, old models and the new models, the legacy models or not. But in general, they have a unified uh, interface to interact with their all, all their open AI models. Here, what we're talking about is that general models, not only open AI. So it can be open AI, it can be Llama, it can be any other like uh, LLM. Um, and there is also what is very uh, cool about Langchain is that you can also create pi pipelines. So basically, like you can define, for example, your model. Uh, and as the interface you're interacting uh, with it, you can define a prompt template. Uh, so um, uh, that will take like just like the question from the from the user and just put it in the in the big template. And you can act like add even the retriever part, all of these uh, different components of your like. Uh, um, of your application that is use, using LLM, and you add all of these together in a POM pipeline. Um, and uh, you are going to see this in a, in a bit. Uh, so you have chains. Uh, agents are like um, where you, when you add extra tools, basically. Uh, so chains are like a sequence of processes that uh, you add them together. Uh, agents is like uh, where um the llm itself is going to be like making choices on there are dynamic choices between this. it's not a fixed sequence the chain is a fixed sequence of processes an agent will include like a choice basically there is a dynamic choice that is going to happen so basically if you add a tool to your chain and then for example a function and uh, uh where the llm can like uh, can it can use this tool or not, um, this is going to be an agent. So this is just a basic explanation. Uh, okay, so uh, we're, we're going to be building chatbot, chatbot with, with, with launching. So, um, uh, okay, so this is a basic component. Well, first we start with a chat model. Um, so, uh, okay, just, just one moment. Um, um, okay. Um, so, uh, as we like uh, maybe mentioned a little bit earlier, is that um, LLMs can be uh, like text, uh, like they have different. 
how they, how they, their gauge LLMs can be gauged to perform different NLP, like in natural language processes. Um, some are like um, particularly fine tuned and gauge to, to do like classification or entity extraction. Uh, and like there are different functions that can be done. And like um, basically, and like uh, what are the basic things that like a, like um, an LLM model can do is text completion. So just you give it um, text and it will just complete, give you an output of text. Um, uh, basically can use these uh, um, uh, models as well uh, to to like uh, to um, to create a chatbot. But what is better suited are chat models. These are ones that are uh, fine tuned and gauge uh, like the interface. They have the interface that uh, um, made of messages so it is like it's like it's actually prepared to be a chat um so uh okay so the, the, as we mentioned earlier the messages um if you remember like when we talked about open ai we talked that there are like uh, messages can be can have three roles the system the one that defines basically the person the persona of the chat uh, assistant and um like uh, like give the basic instructions and then we have two roles the assistant which is the chat answering the questions and the user the one the person who's entering the queries so these are two types of messages um uh, sorry, three three types of messages and we see that there are corresponding uh, message types also in lang chain uh, there is an AI message which, cor which corresponds to the assistant in OpenAI. We have the human message, very clearly is the user. Uh, there is a system message corresponding to also the system. There is, again, there are uh, like a function message is the one that you will use it to. And um, a, chat, a chat message, which is just uh, like a, a arbitrary, like it's a, a message basically without uh, a particular rule defined for it. So it's like this corresponding to the one that will define for open AI. Uh, as I just mentioned just before, that will, there will be prompt templates to simplify the sampling of the prompt. Um, so if there are like different messages, uh, they will be like all put in together. So this will also include the chat history. They can also be uh, all put together in, in a template. Uh, so yeah, as, as we mentioned, uh, again, reiterate that the chat history is the one that will make the chatbot remember um, uh, what happened in the past interactions. And then we have the retrievers is our optional part. This like uh, if you have uh, data in uh, a vector database and you want to augment your um, LLM answers with information from those, you add a retriever. This is a, like a, um, another component that you can add to to your pipeline here. Okay, so these are the basic things. So we're going to be seeing a demo. Um, um, uh, just something basic, like uh, basically from the um, um, the references are the basically the sources, the official documentation of Langchain. So. Um, uh okay so any question for a good into this um okay all right just one second so uh what i have here is just a simple notebook where i am um okay so i don't need actually open ai is uh, defined separately. What I now I have, as before, I have a .env uh, file that I define the OpenAI key uh, here. So again, do this, never push your OpenAI key to the GitHub. Don't put it publicly, put it like, uh, um, yeah, like use, use it in an environment vari variable like this. Uh, Okay, so here I'm going to define the chat model, which is an open AI. Here I'm getting from Langchain. So what is that? the first thing you need to do, of course, is to install Langchain. It's just a pip install Langchain. That's it. 
Um, uh, so, and from uh, Latin Open AI, uh, from there, like uh, I can uh, define uh, any like Open AI, Open AI model here, like the chat model here, I'm defining using uh, GBT 3.5. And of course, I'm importing my um, API key um, like this. I'm also defining the temperature, um, which if you if you like um, feel like I don't know if you remember uh, it was we discussed it before, but temperature is like a parameter for the LLM that defines how much um, creativity it will be uh, employing. Basically, uh, the higher the number, the more creative it is. Uh, okay, so um, the first thing is that we're going to see um, like a, a basic in use. Okay, so um, so I have here, I, I define my chat, my chat uh, bot basically. I'm going to invoke it. Invoke it means I'm going to like give it um, a query and it's going to give me an answer. Uh, to give a query, as we said, we're going to be using messages and um, we like import this uh, from Nanjing Core messages. Um, uh, like there is this whole human message. So this is the user. The one that we are getting from, user, from the user, the query is like defined uh, with a content uh, parameter which is a string. Um, so the question here is translate this sentence from English to Italian, I love programming. And once I invoke it, I will see that the answer or the, res the result is going to be an AI message, which is like the answer from the LLM. Uh, you can see that the type of message is different. So, and like the content is going to be the answer. So the answer is amo programmare, so which is a translation uh to italian of this um and of course there is like metadata like the token usage the um the like the model um there, there are different like uh, here like the finish reason is stop as we discussed earlier so these information are there uh, as well um okay so to show that like uh, the message the chat as is doesn't have any memory so i did ask uh, so it did give me this answer i'm a programmer so if i ask it again like what did you just say um the 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 output is not going to be like is um, like we expected to tell me to tell me that i said i'm a programmer which was a translation mm -hmm. but um it's going to give me a wrong answer like i said what did you just say which is not what it, what it said what i said okay so it's clear that it will have memory um to provide it with memory we uh we can either like as like by hand we can uh provide so instead of invoking it i will going to be invoking the chatbot with the, the three messages as as they, if they happen so this is my first question this was its answer and now i'm adding another question which what did you just say uh, and you can see that the messages now are a list of of messages okay and now it's going to give me the right answer it's like the answer is going to be i said i'm a programmer which means i love programming italian so now it's no now it's now it remembers because i passed it everything by hand uh okay so to do this instead is uh there is a okay just let me just see the history so uh long chain has this memory um our chat message history is like a, a functionality that's where i can add um, um, messages to history right away so uh, here we are choosing like this the storage can be like we can have multiple options for store for storing this history i'm choosing to use like uh, just in memory here so like um uh, defi defining this uh, ephemeral that history as uh, this from this functionality chat message history and then i'm going to be adding add user message add ai message these are like uh, <clears throat> methods 
for for this and uh, we can see like if i add hi and then what's up um like this is a user message this is the answer of the of the ai uh so we can see like um in messages you can see the the content is here so human message hi and ai message is up as we want and we can do what we did before is that we can add the user message to the history and um when we get the like we invoke the the okay invoke the chat with this with this the history with the history with the history the history messages not not the not the not the, not the message the user message but like the history of it and we get a response that um uh okay so this is the first uh, question so but when we continue adding um to it we add the response again to this um, message history and we invoke the chat again with it we will get like what what we expect so it remembers because we are passing it all the history so we are choosing here like um um the basic options to just uh, store everything in memory and and pass everything together with the chatbot but like you can see like there are functionality available to do this in a better way so you can see here this is not chat i'm using chain right and uh this is something that you just like um in uh, creating a pipe and creating um a, um, a prompt template we did this before so creating a, a prompt template um you can just like there is a, from long chain again there is a chat prompt template and you can define it like you can have like this this i see that is a system message uh but i'm not i don't have to use system message again like the, this um um uh, um I don't need to use uh, that function. I just define uh, the the system message like this. Okay, so I have um, and then uh, to have to like because it's a template. I'm going to have a message placeholder and call that um, messages. So this is a variable name. So what will happen is that instead for this prompt, I'm going to be passing. Um, instead of passing like uh, i'm going to be just passing a, like um a string with the name messages so what i'm going to be passing is actually a direct uh, dictionary with the key messages um and uh the the value of it is going to be like my user um my user message or later on is going to be the history defining the prompt like this and remember the chat was uh, like the model as defined um so this is my chat this is just like a uh, chat open ai define the model so here i'm creating um i'm creating a link chain pipe uh or a chain made from the prompt going to the chat um the chat model after creating this this chain, I can invoke it as if I'm invoking a model. And uh, the, thing, the difference is that I'm going to be passing the parameters like this, instead of passing the whole, like creating the whole messages and um, again, every time. Okay, um, just simplify my life a little bit. So here I'm creating history by hand, but later on, what I did is that I used the functionality chat message history and i pass those to the i pass those to the chain not to the chat model but the chain so i have here the message and its value okay um any questions so far i suppose it's like very simple yes um Give me a chance to to like if you have anything to say or something to ask about it.
Okay, so fine. Um, I suppose it's simple enough. Uh, okay, all right. So this is the first part. This is just using launching in 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 like the simple usage. Um, okay. Uh, next, uh, we're going to be seeing the tools. As we discussed earlier, that there was tools that we use with OpenAI, and we're going to go over this a little bit um, here. So we can pass function calls or uh, tools to OpenAI. And we're going to see the same thing like for for Langchain uh, that Langchain can do. And actually, we can actually just skip OpenAI if you want and just like uh, go to Langchain directly because it's like um but i think it's, it can be like uh, a little educational to see this as well so uh, this is what we did again before again we're using all this open ai not long chain at the moment um again defining our client this is um uh, defining our model with the open ai key and now we define the function and so we can you, when you have a function and you want like to pass it as a, a tool for your open ai you have to define it in uh, like uh, we discussed this a bit, very very shortly earlier because there was not enough time but you have to define the uh, descri describe the function in a json this is required and so you define the name of the of the of the function you can add descriptions and then you have to define um the parameters uh that it, it takes um like uh, like the, the the type and the uh, the description like here like i'm, I'm adding like the actual description so i have a, a, a parameter metric um Filters, dimension, period start, period end, um, auto type, okay. And um, so you have to define the type and description for each of the parameters. So it's uh, like a, the total is a JSON file. And uh, so how we tell um, the LLM about it? So. Uh, okay, so just to ex explain, so this is, um, it's not necessary to like to understand what is the goal of this function. I'm actually not defining the function at all, because I'm just like uh, going to get what I'm going to get from the LLM is just if he is going to call the function or not, like he, is there a function call or not, or how like it's going to pass the parameters to the function. Um, okay, so uh let's say like uh, my message is going to be like the system message is um uh, extract the relevant information from the provided request and then the user message is how did a uh, number of ios uh, users change over time okay so and uh, the response of course i'm going to pass uh, like as before like all the simple use is that i'm passing the model the messages and i'm also passing functions okay and for functions i'm i'm passing this passing this json file uh this json object not json file um okay and in the response i'm going to get um so what i'm going to get is so you can see here like maybe it's not super clear because i have um so this is get completion object and you can see that like my content so you can see for example the finish reason is function call and um i have zero i have none content i don't have a content so I'm here. I'm telling the I'm telling the LLM to actually just like call this function, or and it's going to give me like a, a function call with these arguments. So um, 
So like the metric is number of users, like it's go it getting with this information from the from the user question. And um, and this all, of course, it, it defines them depending on the description I have in the JSON file. Uh, and it's the core. Uh, okay, so that's it. Uh, okay, so this is the basic the basic use. But I can have I can add options. Is that like I can tell the LLM to always um, uh, the call the function or um, and or not do the call functions. This depends on this parameter function call. Um, uh, there is another option is to have it uh, auto, so it's it, then that the LLM will decide. Um, okay, I have uh, like a, so I'm not going to go through this because it's uh, okay. Just right. Uh, so there is this. Uh, actually, it's, it's actually very good. A way to define my my functions using this uh, identic. Uh, I think this is how to pronounce it. It's a library where like it will be make easier make it easier to define. So I have like um, I can define like a, the class request structure, and then I will define like the fields here in a better like. Or I don't need to write the JSON myself. I just like write it in this um, um, simpler form, let's say, uh, using like this um, library. And then uh, I can like from, okay, so this is the use with long chain. Long chain is already here. Uh, so yeah, this library is used with long chain. Uh, and if you have time, we'll see more use from it later on. Uh, but it's going to like use uh, um, this uh, class. It will going to change it for me to the JSON I need with the particular name I pass here. And you can see like um, the information I, I, I need is here. So this is a JSON I defined by hand before. It's defined again here um, using this library, this link. Anyway, so this is uh, the function calls with OpenAI. Now with Longchain, what we're going to be using is going to be using the tool functionality from, from Longchain. Um, uh, okay, so this is, okay, so we will be using a tool later, but we can actually just like, as is, as like the JSON, uh, the JSON as defined, we can actually pass it uh, to our model, um, like with using launching. So here using this bind, so I'm defining the, the model and then using bind to bind this function to it. And uh, again, I did the same defined of uh, a prompt template and then created the chain from the prompt and model. And uh, if I invoke this again, I will get what I did before, which is like a function call here like with, with the arguments as um I find in the question okay uh so uh this is one way defining like this um, um whole uh um jason uh instead we can use tool from a long chain agents and here we define the actual function. So before we were not defining the actual function that we, we, didn't, we didn't define it. We were just like uh, describing it for the LM. 
Now we are defining the actual function and we are adding this decorator tool from the chain.agent. And here I have just a function that is like taking two float uh, numbers, metric one and metric two, and calculating the percentage difference between the two. Um, so just a simple um, a mathematical operation. Uh, but once I use this, um, you can see that because I use this decorator, I can have like um, a name argument a description for the function. Um, and, and like, uh, I don't need, need to run it, it's here. Like, so I can see like the name and the, uh, the arguments are like metric one and metric two as here. So the title is its name, the type is number and uh, percentage difference. So this description is um, like basically it gets it from the description of the function here, right? Um, so is, so the, this basically is ready to be passed uh, to, to, to my model. Um, I'm going to use uh, this again. So convert to open AI function, um, uh, applying it to, to this directly. So I didn't need to do, to use um, this extra library. I just like uh, use this uh, from, I'm only using a land gain here. And I got the JSON that I, I needed. So this is just to see it, right? Now I can define the chain from earlier by uh, doing this, so so we got the um, JSON from using this convert to OpenAI function and use bind as before and create the chain. Uh, but uh, um, Okay, uh, so to actually, uh, uh, parse the output of this model. So like, um, as you say, like it gives me like an AI message. So yeah, so let's just read what happened here. So here, my prompt template is going to be asking like the system, you are a product analyst wishing, willing to help your product team. You are very strict to the point and accurate. You use only facts, not, not inventing information. So this is just a persona. And then I have a user request. And uh, so what I'm passing, or like what I'm using to evoke the, the chain, is like um, a query that says in April we had 100 users and in May we had only 95. What's the difference in percent? So, um, okay, um, I remember I bind my LLM to this function, the percentage difference. And uh, so the output is going to be, a, the AI message content is, up, uh, is empty. It's just have a function call. And the function call is going to take arguments. Metric one is going to be 100. And metric two is 95. And, um, sorry, the name is percentage difference, which is the name of the function we have. Okay. To, to actually parse this and use it, we're going to use OpenAI function agent output parser adding it to my chain. Remember, this is a prompt template. This is a model with a function called bind, bind, bound to it. And then this parser, and I invoke it again over what um, the same query as before. Okay, and you can see um, the result is going to be an agent action message block. So it's, it's not an, um, an AI message anymore. Um, okay. So to actually get 
the answer from the model uh, to use it like it uses um, I, I need to pass the so this agent action uh, message log has this tool input part this is the thing that is useful so I can actually just pass this to my function directly I don't need to like um, um, parse it myself it's already ready so I all I need to do is that I can go take my result and take the tool input from it this is my just my Python function and calculate the observation as uh, as needed so here I'm using a different uh, it's a different query there were 100 users in April and 110 users in May well, what how did the number of users change and uh, so I'm getting like the result I'm passing it to them to the to my function I'm getting 10 which is 10 percent um of course I can tell uh so this is just like you can see like every time I'm, I'm like improving so this is like the function the model defined from the start so every time I'm just showing you how you can improve it so I don't need to the whole file it's just this cell is doing everything I need so far improving it further is I can add uh the like uh can like um, the calculated observation of course I can add it back to um uh to 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 my model or to pass it back so that I can get like uh, um the result from um from the chain it will be like uh so from I'm passing the result and uh the results from like before and the observation the calculated part and uh, then i will get the answer or the final thing is that going to be like the number of users increased by 10 percent from april to may so which is a human understandable answer as you can see so so this is all basically uh, so let's stop here and if there are other, other questions. Was this clear? No, I think it's simple. I didn't do anything complicated. Um, any questions? Uh, Abdurrahman is asking about the code. Yes, you can get the code. I'm, I'm just saying uh, it's not really... Uh, there is nothing complicated. It's mainly from the from the documentation, but of course I can I can put the file on, on the G drive if you like, can find it useful, which is good. Um, just as you... I, 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 I have no idea at what step are you at. Yes, Komi. Yes, thank you. I think uh, what I want to ask is about how we are going to like connect the database to our model. Like, you know, I thought we are going to use protocol uh, and the long chain to do it. Um, so, yes, good question uh so what 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 are you going to be using your nlm for actually so um the nlm the the use you're going to be putting nlm for is that you want to your user to put to ask human um language questions about your database and the nlm is going to translate it to sql right that is a point. Uh, so, but uh, like, and this is like, um, 
because you have to provide your LLM because LLM doesn't know a priori about your database and the kind of information it has. So you have to provide it in the form of a tool uh, with like um, uh, um, with access, so basically access to your database or access to to like the database information. Um, so it can provide you the, actually the accurate SQL queries that you need. Um, so um, I, I don't know if this is clear enough. It's just uh, an over, an over. Um, how to say? It's just like a. A big picture kind of thing. It's not. It's not like going into the details. But if to to see something, but it's not exactly what you. Just one moment. Excuse me. One moment. I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Um, okay, just to um, this is can can be useful. This is part of the the <clears throat> like. This is one of the references that was provided in the document itself. Uh, you can see here, like uh, defining. Um, um, so he is using like the Langchain tool, like the one that adds like provide the tool for the LLM, um, and defining uh, functions that access the the database. So here I'm I haven't like a, like this is a particular database, but basically, uh, um, you can even like pass back the result from uh, like an SQL query, for example, if this like is is like a functionality that you want to have. Uh, you can have like the names of the tables. You can get like get table columns, like given a particular column, uh, particular uh, sorry, a database and a table name, and then get back the, uh, the, the columns. So, so these are functionalities that are actually doing, um, uh, executing, um, um, Sorry, it's giving you like a um, a, a an SQL a SQL query. Um, 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 actually, it's executing the. Uh, So this is giving you an an, an, an an SQL query to get the the table column names and type in JSON. Um, okay, so but I'm just um, these are just like uh, examples, right? Of of like possible functionality you can define, and these basically you can pass to the LLM. The LLM can use like uh, of course, like what I was doing before is that I was passing just one functionality to to the LLM, but I can actually give it a choice for between multiple tools, um, uh, and uh, like uh, define the tools that like will make sense to what you need, um, because like what you want is to produce from um, from your LLM, you get a user query in natural language and you want to give back an SQL query that is accurate and relevant to your database that can be further used in in in, in Redash, right? Um, so this is just, again, I'm not giving you an actual um, usable code in this case, but like relevant to your, to the, to the challenge, but just giving you an idea. Does this like make sense and to does this clarify a little bit or 
Come? Any kind of reaction or events? Okay. I don't know if this was clear or not. I'm not getting any kind of uh, reaction back, but okay, fine. Uh, so it's almost out of time. So if there are like a um, couple of questions, one or two questions. Um, if there is no urgent question at the moment, uh, like we can keep talking on Slack as always.